day. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Rod. You with the pedal Picassos once again. As my very good friend Matt Peter, Peter Fry says, we live in the future. We are very fortunate as guitarists to have a myriad of devices at our disposal. Diving once again into the new X um, Trident, and this video will be about making a patch. Um, so delving in, I've got the software, um, screen recording that, and I'll disengage all the other effects blocks and we'll just have a look at the amp. Using a JCM 800 emulation with a Bogner um, IR that actually comes with the Trident. You can load IRs into it. I will do a video on that uh, in the future. But I'm just showing what the stock standard um, uh, well, with my tweaks on the EQ. So in the EQ section, you've got a parametric EQ. Grab a frequency. Fiddle about with that, if you wish. I'll bring that back to a couple of dB. I've just got that there, so it's taken the standard. Which is a nice sound, it's got a bit of a blanket over it for me and giving it just a little bit of uh, mid-range push. Okay, so you can tweak the amp any way you like. Um, presence, treble, middle, bass, master and gain controls that are on uh, the hardware and the software. You've got... Overall level controls as well. And you've got a bias control on the amp as well, on the power amp side. So how hot um, the emulation of the valve biasing is. And I like the little uh, valve representation here, the tubes, tubes if you will. Um, and they get hotter the more you tweak the bias. So you go, turn them down, cool, 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 hot, 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 very hot. <laughs> right. Um, seven's good, it's my lucky number. Right. Adding to that, if I'm putting a rig together, I'm going to want to push that um, amp over the edge with a tube screamer. There it is. There's my tube screamer. Just kicked it in. Turn him off. There's my JCM 800. Here it is with the tube screamer. If I want to further push over the edge, I want to engage uh, a Dynacomp compressor more as a boost. Boost with some sustain with a little bit of attack rod on. Listen to that, you go have some lunch, come back, still be ringing. Um. Just a bit of extra push. So we've gone from. The, the comp really fattens it up a bit. Right. What else do I need, I hear you say? I want a bit of reverb. And for this instance, I've just gone with a, the room reverb that's on here. Just to get a bit of life in there. It's not oversaturated. Turn it off, though. So I'm not having it so it's overimposing. If you're playing in a in a live room where you had some reflection off the walls, you might not need any reverb, or I might not need any reverb. But I always like to include some delay. In this instance, I've got an emulation of a Boss analog delay. And it's very subtle, it's not overloading the sound at all. 
but with the combination of the reverb, you're just getting that. Some real character to the sound that that's a it's a little bit inspiring. And if I want to go over the edge, put my compressor on. Modulation. I've added some modulation here by way of the TC Electronics emulation. To give it a further richness to that, to a solo sound. And there it is. So we've added all these additional things to our stock standard amp. And there you go, there's a gig patch for you. Alright, if you want to save that as a patch, you can save it with all those effects selected on, if you wish, or Turn them off and then save the patch and then bring in what you want. I'm going to leave the reverb on. I'm going to go to save. Hit my save button. It's going to ask me what I want to name it and actually where I want to save it. I'm in slot 2A. If I want to save that to somewhere else, I want to slot, let's put that in 31C for instance. That's where I want to save it. I actually want to name it something else so I, I can tell that I've edited it. Very simple. Um, that's, that's to move my cursor across. Um, I'm going to call it Rod something because that's my name. Uh, R-O, what's the next letter? Mm, D, here we go. So Rod Pure 800, then push to save. Data saving. So that's saved as 30, it's 31C. Say if I wanted to save that patch with all the effects on. I might want to save that in at 31. And in fact, in fact, this is this is the deal. I'm saving in um, my presets. So these are personal presets here. When you hit your select button, you go back to the, the factory um, patch that was in that slot. So you've got two patches per slot. One's factory, the ones that, ones that you've edited, edited. I'm going to hit to save and I'm going to save it in 31B. And there we go. And it's saving. So 31B, there's my with all my effects on it. 31C will be the same patch with the effects off. Now, I have noticed that there is some latency when you're switching between patches. That's not the best. Um, you might set up a patch for a song. And, uh, and then have the ability to wind in different effects during that song um, so you don't get any latency. You don't get any latency switching in effects, individual effects. <laughs> Just switching in between the patches. I hope I've um, made that fairly clear on how to build a patch and store it. Um, I have had some comments on some of the other videos that uh, patches sort of disappear. Um, when you power down the machine, let's just try that, let's power down the machine. Power down the machine. Um, it's actually turning off the, uh, the software as well because the software needs to be connected by USB to a machine that's live. Um, we'll turn it back on. We'll see if the, uh, if the software actually detects um, the model being turned back on again. It has, that's good. 
Um, and there we are. So. <laughs> There's my two patches that I've saved. All right, um, drop us a comment in below. Let us know what you're doing with your new X Trident. If you've got one, if you've got other new X stuff that you like, um, I've got some stuff of theirs that I like. There's a couple of quirks with some other stuff, including this, that leave it wanting a little bit. In its price point, I think it's pretty good. Um, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>